So this is my Revo, my E-Revo. Originally it was a Nitro Revo 2.5 and it was driven then. Um, the motor went to shit in it, so I decided to make it a uh, electric Revo because I've always been in love with the E-Revo, but I never put in the money to actually buy a brushless one. So this E-Revo has not been driven before. Um, brand new chassis, brand new center diff. Um, the front and rear diffs are all the same. Uh, all original from the Revo 2.5. I got these sick rims on it. Pretty sure these are RPM rims. Um, I don't know these tires name, but um, pretty sure they are on. They might be Pro lines. I'm not sure. Um, I have many other sets of rims. Uh, so today I have the finishing piece to this. Monster. Just give me a second and put this to the side. I just recently decided to buy this. Let me just get the camera straight because I am sick and tired of seeing it sit. So let's open up this box. I just got home from work. So, in this box is the Castle Creation Sidewinder 8th. This is the 8th scale version of the Sidewinder, the 110 scales obviously, so it's a big brother to those, but a little brother to the Mamba Monsters. But they work just so well and put out the same amount of power, or maybe a little less power, but Get rid of that. Uh, I had a really tough time deciding which motors I wanted to, or motor and ESC to go in this beast. I was thinking about the Hobby Wing uh, Max 8 combo. It was a little pricier than it than this, but I didn't really know how good of a product that was because I, on my research, I didn't really find anything on it. Uh, I know people are getting. Crazy speeds are the Sidewinder 8th. They're getting over a hundred. So I know it puts out enough power. Um, I also thought of the of my Tekken RX-8 that I have in my electric buggy, but I wanted to keep that in there because why not? And also I have a funny car, a Truxus funny car, and I thought about taking that motor and EC out of there. But the problem is that is that um. It's only up to 3S, so I want it to run 4S and more and 6S, which you can do in this, with this. Um, so it was mainly between the Hobby Wing and the in the Castle Creation Sidewinder 8th. I decided to go with the Sidewinder 8th because I found more on it, and that is that. So let's get to opening this box. Pretty sure this is the ESC, which it is. So you got the Driver's Ed Guide. And some stickers. Always love stickers. Stickers are good. Quick start thing. Um, that is that. I will be going through that. I have the castle link for the computer, so I can uh, link this up to the computer and tune it to my to my needs. Look at this. This is beautiful. Let me give you a close up. Wow. It has a built-in BSC, which is amazing. I love that. I'm going to use Traxxas connectors for this, mainly because my my uh, set of my LiPos, one of them is bad, so they're pretty useless to me. Uh, but I have another set, which are almost going to die, So, and they're Traxxas connectors. So I'll just use those, but this is, this is amazing. Really big. Thick wire. Uh, it doesn't say what gauge this is. Oh, it's 10 gauge. It's a little on the small side, but I'm not too worried about it. So let's get to the motor. Wow. So 
So the motor does come with its own hardware, which is always a plus. Stick that in there. And wow. Look at this. This thing's got some weight to it. Feels good. This is 2200 kV. I'm pretty sure this weighs more than my Tekken RX-8. This is a beauty though. Wow. So, I'm going to get my Revo up here. And, where is mine? Wow, I actually can't use that gear. Alright, this is a monster. I think I may have to steal the gear off of my um, buggy. I, this is a brand new gear I just bought. And it does not fit on there. I probably should have looked at that before actually buying the gear. But wow, this thing is a beaut. So I'm going to solder on these leads. I'm going to put this motor and I'll take the... Take the uh, pinion gear out of that and throw that on here. So I'm going to be running an 18 to 56 gearing, which not too bad. Originally I was going to put this 20... Um, 22 spur gear on it, but I guess that is a no-go. Alright, so I'm going to get this mounted up, and I will talk to you guys after. Okay, so I got this thing all mounted up. I will clean up the wiring. I just want to um, turn it on first, make sure everything works properly, make sure I don't have to send anything back. So let's plug this in. I'm going to sit you down for a second. So I'm running 4S in this thing. That does not sound good. Let me, I have to switch these around to. All right, so, um, I troubleshooted for like a half hour, 45 minutes, trying to figure out what that huge, loud squeaky noise was, and I figured it out. I originally thought it was the uh, slipper clutch, I thought it was too tight, but it wasn't, and then I messed around with the gear mesh, it wasn't that, um, but I came, well it was the gear mesh technically, um, I came to a conclusion, I was running this uh, Mod 1 pinion gear, and the spur gear is a .8 pitch, and those two do not fit well. So, the original gear I bought for this was a um, 20 tooth, and the problem was is that uh, the bore on it was not big enough. It wasn't a 5mm bore, because I thought the shaft on the motor was going to be smaller than it was, but if I actually read, um, I would have found out that it's not. So, everything else works perfectly fine in this. Uh, the motor fits in there really good. Um, yeah, this is my crazy wiring that I got going on. It's not, like, clean or anything, but it'll get me going. This is a y, uh, y connector that I made for originally for my buggy. And so I'll have to figure out some way to mount this up, make it neater than it is. Maybe like that. Oh, that's not good. I have to resolder that. So, um, that is that. And... Oh, uh, luckily, my dad, he is a mechanic, so he was going to help me out with my gear issues. He's going to take the original gear that I bought for it and drill it out, out the center of it to make it a 5mm bore. Hopefully, this works all dandy handy. 
and I will be using this tomorrow. I did buy a another gear for it just in case this doesn't work out. That will be coming on Tuesday. Uh, I was hoping that, I'm really hoping that this works out. We can get this mounted up and it'll be set to go. This is the Mod 1 spur gear I was using. And it didn't fare too well because I couldn't get this forward enough to make it a nice gear mesh. Um, so that is that. I'm going to have to resolder that right there, right now. But yeah, um, I'll give up, I'll put an update video up maybe tomorrow if things don't go well. Well, by the time you're seeing this, it will be tomorrow, so I'll just update it tomorrow. Thank you all for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy.